We have touch and magic. While aromatic and fragrant describes not your smell, your unique scent causes excitement to swell. Your varying images may change from land to land, but your language is universal to understand. The power that you inherently possess, if not for humanity, is completely useless. Yet in man's reality, we are secretly obsessed to accord you the majesty of a godlike status. The good you do is seen as kindness most high, the bad you do being mankind's worst crimes. The things you bring makes for joyous times, the nothing you become makes for the morose to die. Greed and charity are your poles, emotions are plenty you place in souls. Lust and love are confused by you, yet you stay frigid in all you do. Must you prey on mankind's fools, knowing full well you can bend the rules? Many a good men are corrupted by you, yet in the end they try to excuse what they do. Through our lives, throughout our lives in work and play, we strive for many more of you each day. But do we realize to bless you this way is a futile exercise that leads to demise? For you, money, are worthless in dead men's eyes. This next one is uh, a more light-hearted uh, little poem, so hopefully, uh, I wrote it actually uh, for a, a nurse that used to work for me, who was, well, the poem will, will tell you what, what she was like. It's called At Times. Most of the time I feel just fine, just like a madame, being trifling refined. But some of the time the world blows my mind, and the giveaway sign that I no longer am a little madame is when I don't give a damn and go down that old lane and go from a dam with a twist of a name to be just a mad day. <laughs> right, I think any poetry reading can't go without at least one love poem. So this is um, a poem which I wrote. Um, it was, I wrote it because often what I find is that I see something or I hear something and it sort of, sort of sticks in my mind and I can't get it out of my head.